This is Outdated, and welcome back to Mass Effect. We're going to have a quick chat with Joker, because we haven't actually talked to him yet. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> it's not their fault. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? <laughs> well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> Ah, oh, Joker. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I think it's time we go ahead and get our mission going here. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Okay, so I've got the Cerberus lab, and I've got... Oh, let's see. What do we have on the galaxy map? Conquered systems. Clustered already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Okay. So these are the things. These are the areas that the Reapers have already taken. And now that is something different. You're going to see reapers are going to like take over the galaxy one by one and all the way over here by themselves the server slap okay we are going to go after the primarch we're just going to go ahead and do that now this is still an amazing sci-fi universe okay search and rescue the normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system is in to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This is some crazy stuff. All right, that's where the Turian Primarch is, and we're just going to go straight there. The only thing on this planet that isn't silver are the Torians. It's all too clear they've made us made of steel. These were Alliance hero John Grissom's impressions of the Torian homeworld Palavan, seen by humans for the first time following the first contact war. The Torian's martial attitude permeates every aspect of Palavan society, from architecture to art to politics. It's no surprise that their homeworld was never occupied by an invading force until now. The Reapers, aware of their enemy's reputation, brought overwhelming force to Palavin and did not hesitate to bombard cities that resisted, and all of them resisted. The dust and smoke from pulverized cities is now a breathing hazard across much of the planet. Water and power supplies have all but vanished. Still, the fight here has cost the Reapers dearly. Alliance Travel Advisory. Palavin's weak magnetic field means solar radiation levels are greater than those found on other habitable worlds. Human visitors are advised to wear Enviro suits or other radiation protection while visiting Palavin. Okay. Right, that is not what we wanted. Let's enter orbit on this little guy. There we go. Manai. <clears throat> Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Torian Space Age. During the Krogan Rebellions, the Hierarchy classified nearly all data on Minai and its sister moon, Nanus, because they feared the Krogan could use the moons as weapons by smashing them into Palavin's surface. However, some information has leaked out. <clears throat> Images of Torian bases where personnel walk without enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure. Likely a network of subterranean tunnels, with powerful mass effect field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swaths of the surface. The Reaper's, plan, the Reaper's plans for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the Moon's anti-aerospace defenses. With their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the base one at a time. The Turians have the advantage of the Moon. But the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Torian fleet another place to repair or refuel. Okay, and this is where we're going. I'm 
Squad select. Oh, this is going to be hard. Gee, who do I tank? I'll take the only two I have. Except James and Liara. Okay, I've already got that weapon. I'm not sure if I can... You know, let's see. Shotgun. Ah, okay. Except... Okay, I'm not 100% sure how to, like, equip a second weapon here. I'm just not sure. Let's see. Select a weapon cat category to the left and press A to change or equip that weapon. Okay, now, um, except that this is, let me equip it, though. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go here. Can, do we have it? Nah. We'll just stick with the Vindicator. All right. All right, I do have level up ability. Let's go to the Combat Master thing. Increase weight capacity bonus by 50 points, or increase weapon damage by 10%, and increase damage of all ammo powers by 40%. We'll go with that. Oh, achievement. Focused. Evolve any of your powers to rank 6, all right? And now with that in mind, I should be able to rank one of these up. Let's do concussive shot. Okay. Increase force and damage by 30%. Increase impact radius by 1.5%. Okay. What about here? Liara. We've got a ways to go, Liara. Um, stasis, we're going to get three for that for sure. Warp ammo. We'll do two there for now. Warp in general. Three for sure. Pure biotic. And singularity. This was really handy earlier. We're going to go ahead and do one more of these. Increase singularity hold by duration by 30% or impact radius. But let's um, increase its duration. And we need a three. We'll go with warp ammo. All right, you're done. James, you only have five to work with. So let's do arms master here. Increase power damage by 20% or decrease shield recharge rate. We'll go with that. All right, I think we are good. Confirm. <clears throat> the mission begins. The Torian fleet going after the Reapers. This is where it all hits the fan. This game is just this massive, epic space battle. This is not going to end well. Oh. Shades of Babylon 5, if you haven't ever seen that show. I feel like that was probably some level of inspiration for the design of the Reapers, the way their ships operate. It reminds me of the way the shadows were treated. All right, while they're fighting for the planet, we're going to sneak into the moon. Oh, no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Let's do this. Clear the landing zone. Right. 
Get in, get out. Let's move. Okay, here we go. I'll take you. Talk to the soldier. Which way to your commanding officer? Okay, let's go. Thank you. Find commanding officer. Yeah, we'll grab that. Data pad, I will grab that. Oh, hello. Um. Equip. Wait a second. Oops, that was the wrong button. That was dumb. Okay. Okay, that's how I do it. Okay, so I hold that down and I go back to the sniper. Alright. This is it. There it is. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How are things here on an eye? How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Okay, we now have a mission. Nice. What are you? I see the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. Yeah, I got a med kit now. Data pad. Oh. We'll grab that. Thank you. Alright. Okay, where do I need to go? This way? Assault rifle piercing mod. Scimitar. That's a common person. Let's go. All right, we're heading to the comp tower. That's it. Let's head up here. Sorry, Huskies. Oh, behind us? Oh, shoot, thank you. I didn't know that was a problem. Communications tower. We can't repair it from this panel. Let's see. 
Liara, repair the tower. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. <clears throat> oh yeah, we got you, girl. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Let's take them. That's why I kept you. Ah, help me. Oh, brutal. I'm not sure how I feel about this pulse rifle in this. Whoa. I'll use it for now. It does pack a punch. Oh god. Ah! Hey, they're coming from like all over the place. Go ahead. On our way. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Ammo always helpful. Let's see over here. Dude, you're killing me. This is the guy, isn't it? There he is. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Whoa. Garrus. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavan. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavan. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Hmm. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Leon. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. Playing loose? What do you mean? On Tatris during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus, that should be something to see. So can I trust him? You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot, and I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander, Shepard, come in. Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? 
Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming harvester! Headed for oh the boy. Field. General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to save here. Alright, let's go after it. Wait, where is it? That way. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Assault rifle upgrade, thank you. Just me? Or do those Reapers look like Turians? Right. They do. That's the thing about the Reapers, they actually take over. Hi, dude. Yeah, I think we are too. Grab ammo. Where does it want me to go? Alright, I'm at a loss as to what direction to go. Over here? Hmm. Nope, not that way. Over here. <clears throat> nope. This way. It's the airfield. You know what? That might have been it. Nope. Back in here. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. Well, I'm here. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Okay, here we go. Barricade, that's what I'm trying to get. Let's do it. Oh my, turret section. Let's go. Let's do it. Wait, wait, uh, okay. Come 
reloading. Yay, turret sections. Good times. Oh god, what are you? Holy hell, what is that thing? Oh, crap. Hitting him in the face. Got the brute. Oh. What's the word on the Primark? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Okay. And this is a really good place to stop. So I'm going to save, and we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please like and subscribe. Um, in the next episode, we're going to continue to try to find the Primark. Um, this has been nothing but a war zone here, which is, you know, kind of cool because this game is built up to this for, you know, two games, basically. So here we are. So I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mass Effect.